Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be growing black seeded Simpson lettuce in soda bottles. This is an experiment. Usually, I use my trusty Folgers jars or glass mason jars with net cups and rock wool. But in this video, I'm going to try just using stuff I have around the house, like these soda bottles, which really I got out of the neighbor's recycle bin. And instead of net cups, I'm going to try to use the top part of the bottle to hold the coconut coir, and hopefully this will all work out. The point of this video is to demonstrate that you can grow lettuce or herbs in really any container that holds water and is safe for food. This is true whether you're growing in soil or hydroponically. If you watch this channel, you know that I love to experiment, and I saw a few growers on YouTube using soda bottles to grow lettuce in. They use soil and they don't talk about hydroponics, but rather they show this as a self-watering method. Well, I guess hydroponics is self-watering. Hmm, it's just a matter of semantics. In any case, this is yet another way to grow lettuce or herbs at home in a small place. Also, it seems they're using Coca-Cola bottles, and I have some Pepsi mixed in here. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Just kidding. Alrighty, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the labels. We don't want to give Pepsi or Coke any free advertising, do we? Next, I cut off the tops of the soda bottles. The tops will serve instead of the net cups. They fit into the soda bottles upside down, and I'm going to fill each of them with coconut coir. You could use rock wool if you want, but for this grow, I'm using coconut coir. Here's a brick of coconut coir. This will expand five to seven times its size once I add water. In its compressed form, it's easy to store. It doesn't take up as much space as a bag of soil, and it doesn't attract bugs or those nasty fungus gnats. All you do is add water and let it expand until it's fully saturated. It's kind of magical to watch it expand, and once it's absorbed as much water as it can, it can be used just like soil to grow seeds in, although it's not really like soil. It doesn't have any nutrients in it to support plant life, so you have to add some hydroponic solution to the water once your lettuce seeds have sprouted. More about that in a bit. Back to the soda bottles. Make sure not to cut the bottles too high up near the neck. Cut them around the fatter part of the body. Just above where the label stops is fine, but not any higher than that. Otherwise, the tops will fall into the soda bottles when you try to fit them in upside down. I already made that mistake, so remember, don't cut the tops off too high up. You don't have to do this, but I didn't like the sharp edges on the soda bottles, so I covered them with duct tape. It also helped to keep the tops from falling in. Those are the tops that I cut too high up on the bottle, so the duct tape kept them from falling in. Next, I covered all the bottles with some paper just to keep the light from hitting the water and causing algae to grow. I like to see the water nice and clear, not green from algae, although I don't think the algae is harmful to the plant. I just don't like the way it looks. Next, I poked some holes in the top so the roots can find more than one way down into the water and also to promote what are called air roots, the roots that grow in the humid air above the water level. I'm not using net cups in this grow, so the top part of the soda bottle is taking the place of a net cup. A soldering iron makes quick work of poking holes in plastic. Otherwise, you can use a hot nail. Just hold it with pliers. Now it's time to add some coconut coir into these. And here is the complete setup. So now it's time to add the water. I mix up a hydroponic nutrient solution Usually I use the Grow Big formula from Fox Farms, but I ran out of it, so I used what I have on hand, this AeroGarden solution. I mixed up 2 ml into a gallon of water and then filled each of the soda bottles with the hydroponic solution. Here's the first bottle I filled with water and another mistake. You can see some of the coconut coir fell down into the water. No harm there, the coconut coir is inert, it just doesn't look nice. That happened because the opening for the soda bottle was too large and let the coconut coir drop through. 
So for the next soda bottle, I put the cap on and then melted a hole in it with my soldering iron, and that worked. With the cap on, the water stays much cleaner. The coconut coir doesn't have a big enough hole to drop down into the water. I ended up making five of these soda bottle containers, and now it's time to plant the seeds. I planted a couple of seeds in each container by just sprinkling them on top and then covering them with a light layer of the coconut coir. This seed packet is around three years old, which is a real no-no. So since the seeds are not very fresh, I planted more than one in each container. The older the seeds are, the lower the germination rate. So just to be safe, I planted some extra seeds. Here it is exactly one week later, and I see something popping up. And this one has two. And this one one. And this one also has one. And this one none. So it looks like those seeds are really at the end of their lifespan. That's a pretty bad germination rate. Okay, here we are two days later, and it looks like I have one plant growing in three of the containers, and then two in one, and none in the other. So if none of the seeds germinate in that one, then I'm going to try to transplant one of the two growing together into the container with none. Makes sense, right? Okay, it's now two weeks since I planted the lettuce, and you can see they're all growing nicely except for the one container where none of the seeds germinated. So what I'm going to do is gently remove one of these and plant it into the container with none and hope for the best. Here we are on day 40 and the lettuce has been growing nicely and let's have a look at the roots. And they're coming out of the cap, nice to look at. I'm going to harvest some of the outer leaves of the plants and meanwhile the lettuce will continue to grow from the inside. And now it's day 60, and I've been harvesting the outer leaves whenever I needed some lettuce. But now I think it's time to harvest the rest. Otherwise, the lettuce will go to seed, which means it will put out a flower stalk and seeds, and the leaves will start to taste bitter. So don't let your plant go to seed, unless, of course, you want to save the seeds. So that was another fun growing experiment, this time using soda bottles instead of glass mason jars, or Folgers coffee jars. The point, of course, is where there's an empty jar, there's endless possibilities for growing in it. I think I'll grow some basil next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.